What's up, YouTube? Gonna do a quick little review um, on my Dell G15 Ryzen processor. Uh, I've been pretty happy with it. I was comparing it to the Legion Pro when I bought it, and this was on sale. And it just seemed uh, a better deal since I wasn't planning on gaming. And I saved quite a bit of money. Um, so step one here, we're gonna shut this down. We gotta make sure I don't know, it says Chinese in the model number there. But it's G15. And do a quick upgrade. It came with eight gigabytes of RAM, which is not enough. My Windows install on this seems to take quite a bit and just when I'm running like Google Chrome it's it's too much. Oops that's the wrong so it's an easy disassembly here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight total screws. Not all of them come out of the plastic. So that corner one does. These front ones here. And the back one says. To save a few bucks, I didn't actually buy new RAM because I heard some issues with compatibility, it seemed like. Um, so you can see we popped up a little bit once we pulled that screws out. And you use this little plastic wedge and work it around. gentle with it it's kind of tucked in back here so you can't go prying too hard in the back off you do want to try to use a strap to ground yourself if possible I'm just gonna to try to be real gentle and not put any static into this um, I took it apart once to decide what I wanted to buy and what this had in it um, we got two slots I just bought the laptop um, it comes with the 5, I think it was a 512 factory M2, um, and then I added the second one, but you have to buy this plate, a little install kit, because there's no mounting spot here. Um, 
when you do the upgrade, so you can't just buy the hard drive. But it was like an extra, I don't know, 15 bucks, I think. But we're gonna pop this RAM out. I inspected this once to see, because I thought it was weird Dell's website didn't list a compatible RAM stick. But you can see, I went looking for this on eBay used because I figured a lot of people were going to do takeoffs and I was looking for two sticks. But then some people were talking about the speed. Um, so this is a 1RX16. When I ended up finding, a guy bought, he upgraded his with rip jaws and pulled it out of his and we have 8 gig 1 RX8 chips. So I got two 16, well, two 8, 16 total dual channel. Um, I think they can come ordered this way, um, but mine was not. It was just base or whatever. Um, so we're going to be upgrading from 8 to 16 gig and dual channel. But it's similar to all the factory RAMs right now of DDR4 four laptop and this one cost me $20 and guy on Facebook sold it so I figured it was worth the the chance here if it doesn't perform how I want we'll upgrade to uh, something different but I expect it to be fine just make sure you know it only goes in one way. Line it up. Push it in all the way. Lock it down. And give it a little look. Blow out any dust. And uh, put the other, put them back together. Okay, got that put in. Booted. We are faced with this message. Um, onboard Diagnostics apparently sees the memory change. Go ahead and hit continue. See what happens. Alright, everything looks quite a bit better. We got our 16 gigs dual channel. I was running about, I don't know why it was so high, but like 70-80% depending on how many Google tabs. But I just tried to record a video earlier with OBS and I was getting an encoding error. Um, down here. But now everything looks good. My RAM usage isn't high. CPU isn't. TPU is lower than it was, but I'm not getting any errors now. So definitely more processing power there. <laughs> 